Hello. You have reached a answering device. <laughs> Can't come to the telephone right now. We are very, very busy. So please leave your name and telephone number and we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thank you. Beep. Dusty, Dusty. Honey, is that you? It's Tiffany. Look, I need to talk to you. It's Tiff. Let's see what she wants. Uh, Tiffany, let me just disconnect this machine here. Why don't you get a machine in your room? Since we didn't want to be disturbed. <laughs> honey, listen, listen. I have got great news for you. After last night's performance, honey, it is just the beginning of the whole career. Everybody is going to be clamoring to see more. So I have decided for an interview today. Oh, no. What? What does she want? She wants to ruin our day. Mm. Tiffany, can't we do this another day? Honey, we got to strike while the iron is hot. Now, come on, don't argue with me. I have already flown in my equipment and my crew. Everything is already here today. Wait a Wait a minute, why, why did you do that? Because my producer is waiting for the tape of the interview to put on tonight's show. Now, come on, you can't let me down on this. <sighs> Please, you can't. Look, this is very important to me. It is more important than you could possibly imagine. It's important to all of us. Um, Dusty, come on. After all, she's done for us. We cannot refuse it. We can't. Come on. <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> since it's you... As they say in Oklahoma, I'm just the guy that can't say no. Oh, I just knew I could count on you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Dusty. Terry. Can you hear me? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I, I, I'll get back to you at the exact time, okay? It's going to take me about an hour to set it up. Don't go away. How do you find Mount Rushmore, Dusty? Well, you get a map, you go by the auto club. Huh. No, uh, actually, it's been great. The audiences have been a little stone-faced, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, they've been the best. <laughs> they really have been, haven't they? Oh, yeah, they've been terrific. They've been warm and friendly. Yeah, Just but you great. know, they absolutely went wild on your first performance of 40 Million Stars, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Bossa Nova, too. I mean, <laughs> it. it turned out pretty good. It did. Well, with this concert being such a success, I'm sure you'll really want to come back to Mount Rushmore very soon. Uh, all I gotta do is ask her. Oh, great. <laughs> Dusty and Terry, two stars who are destined to shine. You're going to be seeing and hearing much more of them in the very near future. Okay, cut, okay? It's a good interview. Well, thank you. Great. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Bob. If you'll excuse me, I'd like to say goodbye to Dusty. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Nice to meet you. Phone. Oh, I need a phone. Where is it? Where's a phone? Oh, I remember. A phone. Dusty. Hi. It's been such fun watching the interview where you were absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank you. Don't you think you should go back to the hotel now and rest up a little for tonight's performance? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should. Right. See you later. Mm. Be good. Just friends. Mm. Who is it? Bella. Oh. Oh. No name on this, but a special messenger said it was for this room. Yes, I was expecting this. left. I thought we'd get out, walk around, smell the fresh air. It's gorgeous outside. I can't go now. Why? Why not? I'm expecting a phone call. What's so important about an old phone call? Come on. I, yeah. uh, no, it's not, it's not just that. I, I'm just, I don't feel like going out right now. Why, why don't you sit down? Just sit down and relax. Okay. Where did this come from? Bellhop brought it. Really? That's strange. What's in it? Terry. 
I have a surprise for you. Something I want you to hear. What? What's going on? I recorded this for you. And I want you to listen to it very carefully. You are the most changeable person I know. I've been waiting for the right time for this. Now, now is the right time. Just listen. company right now. Lord knows you're not. Told her she'd call. B. Hello. Hello, Dusty. Yes, I'm listening. Did the package arrive? Yes. And you know what to do with it? You know I'm counting on you. Okay. All right, are we ready to go now? I have to go now. Okay, I've been waiting around all day for this, you know. All right? See you later. You'll what? You'll see me later? Wait a minute. Where are you going right now? I have to go, Don't... No, you're not going anywhere, all right? Just listen to me, you... All right, now you explain to me right now why every time she calls, something goes wrong. Get out of my way. It's happening again. Dusty, you're frightening me right now, all right? Would you please just explain to me? Just talk to me, all right? Please, you're scaring me. No, you're not going anywhere. You're staying right here. Get out of my way. Please don't do this. Please don't do this, all right? Out of no, my listen, way, Terry. Listen, Terry. Do you remember? Do you remember when this happened to you before? Please, please, just try to remember, okay? This this happened one time before you got this way, okay? Can you remember, honey? Do you see what's happening to you? Please, Dusty! Dusty! Don't go! You gotta listen to me. Dusty! Dusty, wait. Where are you going? It's okay. No, it's not okay! Where are you going? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Elena, Elena, what did she say on the phone, please? What, what is in the satchel? This isn't how people and love are supposed to act. Please tell me. Whatever, whatever it is, please, we can talk it out, all right? You can't. Dusty! I'm not going to wait for you! I'm not going to be here when you get back! I gotta go, honey. I'm sorry. No apologies. 
No, I'm no, excuse me. No, you stop it. You I'm, stop I'm it. I'm terribly right sorry. You I'm in a hurry. Stop me. Hello, Tiffany. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Tiffany. I am glad to see yes. you. I've got to go. The least you could do I'm is tell me I've done a good I'm job. I'm terribly sorry. Yes, you have. You have done a wonderful job. I know. And I appreciate it. I've got to go. How about you, Tiffany? I really owe you one on this one. You All know right, what I mean? Tiffany, I do owe you exactly. one. I, I've got to leave. I'm terribly sorry. I've just got to go. I'll no. think of something later. No. What are you You're not going to let me out of this. Oh, no, no, honey. You're not going to let me out of the grand finale. I want you to know what is happening. I want you to know what is happening now. I'm sorry, I can't tell. My story, Sean. Your story or not, story. it's top secret. That's the way it goes. Top secret? I don't give a flying fit about top secret. I want to know what's Here's going on. Here's a new scenario you for you. I love you. I miss you. I got to go. Don't you start with me. Sean, you wait. You wait. I don't believe. Your life, Mister. Not on your life. Oh, oh baby. I can bet what's in it until I'm gonna stop it. Oh, brilliant. Hey, look, pal, move your car, will you? In a bit of a hurry. You deaf? Oh, well, we're real lost. Maybe you can help us. Uh, look, there's some other time. We're looking for Augustin Barkland's studio. The hell with the mouse said move it! Yeah, come on, move. Oh. Well, you folks look like you need a vacation for your vacation. Come on, dear. Come on. Uh -huh. You have the keys? I had them. You lost the keys? Well, I haven't lost them. They're here. He's lost the keys. I thought you said you never lost anything. There's Dusty. He's leaving. Come on. They've moved. would tell them that you're here with me. And they're in danger and they can't call me. Now you just listen to me. Your mother and father are the best taker carers of each other in the business.
Hey, I'm back. From where? From going on a walk, right? <laughs> right? What do you mean, right? Where's your little bag? Bag? Yeah, what was in it? Terry, what? I don't, I don't know about any bag. What are you talking about? You said you were going on a walk. All right. You weren't going on a walk. You didn't tell me about a walk. You didn't even let me go with you. Are you packing? Yes, I'm packing. I can't take it anymore. Wait, Terry. Oh, I said I wouldn't be here when you got back. I didn't realize you would get here this early. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? You're leaving? Just because I go on a walk, you're leaving? I mean, what? I don't, I don't understand. Don't you remember? No, I just, I just remember I needed to be by myself to think. I mean, I don't, I don't understand what's so terrible about that. That's it's happened before. All right, every time Elena calls, you end up going somewhere like a zombie. I do. Yes, it's weird, it's dumb. Something's wrong, something's not right about it. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't... Then why do you do it? I don't know. I just... I, 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 I don't know. I just, I, I, you have to believe I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you. I know you wouldn't hurt my feelings. But when you do, Dusty, it's just another ball game, all right? Honey, I love you. Don't you believe that? It's like you're two different people sometimes. Do you... Do you love... one of me? Yes. Yeah, I love one of you. Do you believe that, that one of me loves you? Maybe. Not maybe. Terry, I don't even know who this other guy is that you're talking about. You really don't, do you? No. Huh? Can you forgive me? Forgive you? You're easy to forgive, Dusty. When things are right, you're real open. But this isn't a question of forgiving. What is it, then? It's a matter of just figuring everything out. Figuring you out. Well, as soon as you do, let me know, will you? <laughs> Is that, is that a smile I see? Is that just a little, little trace of a smile I see? Just a little something? Oh, you're so disarming. I came back here to ask you if you wanted to go on a picnic. We've still got a little time before the show we could... Picnic? Yeah, just get a little bread and a little cheese, a little wine. Wine for you. I'll stick to juice. Everything you want, mademoiselle. A little juice, of course. And uh, a little music, perhaps. And a little blanket to get comfortable on. Terry. Yes, sir. You ready? What are you thinking? Oh, I'm just thinking about home. And Port Charles and the brownstone. I'm ready. They have ants the size of Chevrolets here. That was pretty good, you know? Terry. See that look in your eye again. Oh, you do? And I don't like it. 
Well, I just keep trying to figure out things, and I can't. And I don't know why I can't stop myself. I try to figure out things, too, and I can't. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. I just... There are times where I have, like, these blackouts. I mean, you know, you know what it's like when you're in a car and you're driving somewhere, and all of a sudden you just show up and you don't know how you got there, like a whole passage of time has just disappeared? Dusty, that wasn't a blackout that you had when you told me to leave you alone and, and let you go. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe you did either. Well, I, I remember saying something. I just, I just don't remember what it was. It was sure important to you. What? What did I say? It was where you were going with your, with your satchel. Dusty, it can't hurt you to tell me I where you were going. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know or you won't tell me. I don't know. And if I did, I would tell you. I can't remember. God, it's like, it's like you're in, in some kind of spell or something. If you say so, I don't know. But you're not in one now. Under your spell, baby. Terry, do you know what you've given me? What? You don't know, do you? You've given me direction. You've given me meaning in my life. I know where I'm going. It's not like I'm just existing. And you're a part of that. I don't know if I'm saying this right. What? Just say it. We'll figure it out, whatever it is. It's like, it's like, when love comes into your life, it's like everything is different. I mean, it, trees look different. It sounds like a cliche, but it's true. You, you, big things, little things, you just see things in a different way, and you want to share them with somebody. Even a song, even a song is different. Listen to this. This is something that I used to play. And I don't really think I understood what it meant until now. Ask me a question.